a breathtaking picnic. Good morning, sleepyheads. Do you know what day it is today? Come on, get up. The great spring picnic is in just a few hours and there's still so much to do. Luckily, some folks are already hard at work. <sighs> the squirrel's house, everyone is busy. Mummy and Daddy are preparing a tasty nut cake and the two youngsters are quarrelling as usual. It's mine, shouts Glom, tightly clutching the nut that Cough Cough is trying to pinch from her. And rather than letting her brother take it, she wolfs it down. Oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <coughs> Mm -mm -mm. These things happen all the time if you're a squirrel So everyone knows exactly what to do While Dad runs to call for help Mum leaps onto a chair and pulls Glom onto her knees Hitting her on the back Thud one, thud two, thud three, thud four, thud five Then she turns her onto her back and presses on her chest Press one, press two, press three, press four. And on five, the nut shoots out. Cough off is ready to pounce. He leaps in the air, snaps up the nut and swallows it down. Oh no, not again. This time it's Cough who turns terribly pale. Dad dashes, Mum leaps to her feet, hits the little squirrel on the back with her paw. One, two, three, four, five times, then squeezes him tightly. One, two, three, four, and no. on five, the nut flies from Cough Cough's mouth so far that they can no longer find it. No. Phew, all is well. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the clearing in the woods, everything is ready, more or less. All that's missing is the honey, along with Tum Tum the bear, who sweetens the picnic every year with some special honey from his latest cow. Here he comes. I don't know what he's been up to, but this time the bees look very cross. <laughs> Tum Tum has made it. He has given the bees the slip and reached the clearing without spilling a drop of honey and without any breath left. Quick the fox runs over to him, but he looks at her silently with big wide eyes. What is happening? Maybe he ran too fast, or maybe he got a fright. A minute later he's lying on the ground. Tum Tum! Tum Tum! The fox calls him. No response. She tries to shake him. Nothing. Help! Quick takes a good look, sniffs the air and pricks up her ears. Nothing, other than the usual whiff from Puff the skunk. No breath is coming out of Tum Tum's big nose. She needs to take action, and fast. Puff rushes over to a transmitter tree and calls the White Rabbit Rescue Team as loud as she can. From tree to tree, the message reaches its destination. Meanwhile, the animals in the woods try playing Tum Tum's favourite song to wake him up. Quick is kneeling down, her fingers locked together and she is pressing down on her friend's chest in time with the music. Mm, mm, mm. She presses down again and again. Come on, quick, keep going. At last in the distance, she hears the voice of Nino, the siren bird. The rescue team are on their way. Wow. 
And here are the White Rabbit Rescue Team in action. Forest Bear, says the first. Not responding, says the second. Not breathing, says the first. Magic Magic box, they both say together. The first rabbit opens the box. The second presses a button. And they look at each other and cross their ears. Quick looks on exhausted. After a minute, magic. Tum Tum opens one eye, then the other, and smiles widely. At last, the great spring picnic can begin. There is food and dancing and games. And in the middle of the laughter and fun comes the moment everybody has been waiting for. The presentation of the famous Woodland Hero Trophy. This year, the winners are Mummy Squirrel and Quick the Fox. The White Rabbit Rescue Team give them their prizes. And everyone claps and cheers for the new heroes. 